Greetings of the day to all of you. I welcome you all to series four of the mental health conversation. And the topic for today is social media audit. Imagine a typical day in everyone's life, and especially students, waking up with mobile notifications, then scrolling our screen with our work mails throughout our day, looking after our screens, and lastly, before going to bed, that late night scrolling and chats. See, social media has both sides, but it becomes very difficult for students to find whether it is good or bad. And unaware of this thing leads to a lot of stress. And they are not able to know that how much social media they should consume. With this, I would like to welcome you all. First of all, uh, we have among our panelists Ms. Nidhi Mathur from the college administration. We have Professor Jane Chaudhary, a very active member of our college and School of Happiness, Professor B.S. Gautam from the Department of Political Science, and Professor T.K. Mishra, Director, School of Happiness. I welcome you all to this series. And let's start our discussion that what do we understand from social media audit for oneself? Well, I consider this conversation extremely important because our students, they are unaware that how much they should use social media, how much social media is beneficial and how much social media is damaging their peace and harmony. So it is our duty as teachers to enlighten them as to how much they should use social media and the biggest casualty that they are having is that they are not finding me time and the social media is encroaching on their me time. So there are several ways that we should talk today. And I believe that instead of just blaming them that they have you know, developed this mania, or, you know, mobile mania, we should understand our responsibility that we have not given them a better alternative. Unless we give them a better alternative, how can we expect them to give up using, you know, uh, social media so much? So today's discussion essentially would revolve around this particular aspect, you know, that how we should, you know, address this particular problem and give them a better alternative so that they are able to judiciously use the time. You know, nowadays, you know, uh, on, the, on, your, on your mobile, you get the screen time. And this screen time tells you that how much time you are devoting to Facebook, how much time to email, how, how much time to internet surfing and everything. So it is something like you are getting how you are spending your income whole month. So you can plan that, no, this is not done. Why should I spend um, most of my time in you know, social media? So you are getting to know the pattern of using your time. The question is that how to reduce that? And I, I believe uh, uh, our uh, esteemed friend, uh, be, uh, Professor Gautam, in political science, uh, just now he was talking about that, you know, <clears throat> we should have some common platform and common issues, students, teachers, both, where we, where we can spend time, where we, we find profitable engagements, okay? And that was like, say, uh, naturopathy or natural intelligence. How to develop natural intelligence? This could be a common issue, you know, for students as well as teachers and both can come and, you know, devise ways to gain proximity with the nature. I think 
such hobbies, the gardening, you know, tree plantation, cooking, all these hobbies which we have, you know, uh, forgotten. If we revive those things, then perhaps we will find a better alternative than the social media. That is my point of view and I wish the other people should also share their thoughts. Thank you, sir. Anyone else? Very solution-oriented approach, sir, that instead of blaming social media, it's better like so, better to light a candle than to blame the dark room. So, we always complain that time is not time, hai, but we spend a lot of time scrolling our screens. So, in some way, social media is also encroaching our personal me time. So, how social media, how can we reduce the consumption of social media that it does not encroach our me time? Because the first thing that we neglect is ourselves. We give priority to our work, but the only thing we neglect is our physical health as well as our mental health. So how can we reduce that thing? I have been doing this for a long time. I have been doing this for a long time. I have been doing this for a long time. I want to present it in a different way. वो ये है कि हमें एक जो लाइन है एक लंबी लाइन खींचनी चाहिए ये कहने की बजाय कि भाई वो अपना टाइम वेस्ट कर रहे हैं और उनका अपनी बहुत सारी ऊर्जा मेंटल और फिजिकल उसका कोई उपयोग नहीं हो रहा है उसकी बजाय हमें एक लंबी लाइन खींचनी चाहिए और वो लंबी लाइन के बहुत सारे डायमेंशंस हो सकते हैं कॉमन भी हो सकते हैं स्पेसिफिक भी हो सकते हैं जैसे अभी इन प्रोफेसर मिश्रा ने जिक्र किया कि नेचुरल इंटेलिजेंस शायद यही सब दिनों ने इस्तेमाल किया है और इसको हम नेचुरोपैथी भी कह सकते हैं कुछ ऐसे एरियाज जो सबके लिए कॉमन है जिनमें सबकी अभिरुचि इंटरेस्ट क्रिएट हो सकता है और मुझे लगता है उसको सोशल मीडिया में जगह मिले अगर उस सोशल मीडिया से उसमें उसको जगह मिलती है तो दोनों काम होंगे हम जो समय इस्तेमाल करेंगे वो समय जो है वो एक हमारे लिए भी अपने लिए भी उपयोगी होगा समाज के लिए भी वो ज्ञान उपयोगी होगा और जिस तरह से अगर हम अनेक क्षेत्र ऐसे ढूंढ सकते हैं हमारे ज्ञान के अनेक ऐसे इस प्रकार के एरियाज हैं जिनमें एक बार इंटरेस्ट क्रिएट करने की बात है आप इंटरेस्ट क्रिएट कीजिए ये नेचरोपैथी एक है आज सबकी ज़रूरत है विद्यार्थी से लेकर एक मिडल एज से लेकर ओल्ड एज तक के व्यक्ति के लिए सब के लिए नेचुरोपैथी बहुत ज़रूरी है और जिस प्रकार का जलवायु परिवर्तन हो रहा है जिस प्रकार के जो एनवायरनमेंट का एनवायरनमेंट के ऊपर जो प्रेशर्स आ रहे हैं ये सब मुझे लगता है कि ये सब इस समय की ज़रूरत है मुझे लगता है कि अगर हम सोशल मीडिया के माध्यम से इस प्रकार के इश्यूज को हाईलाइट करें और इसमें एक से चेन जो एक शुरू करें चेन शुरू करने की बात है तो मुझे लगता है मेरा ऐसा मानना है कि ये समाज के लिए भी सब के लिए बहुत उपयोगी सिद्ध होगा इसी प्रकार के एक बार इसकी शुरुआत हो हम और कुछ एरिया इस प्रकार के निकालेंगे जो जिसकी जिस पर चर्चा की जा सकती है अभी तो मुझे लगता है कि ये सबके लिए विद्यार्थियों के लिए भी उन उनको क्रिएटिविटी भी देगा उनमें जो जिस प्रकार की क्रिएटिविटी वो चाहते हैं जिस प्रकार का वो इंटरवेंशन भी चाहते हैं और स्टूडेंट जो है वो किसी का मतलब अगर हम ये मान लें कि हम जो उसको कहते हैं वो उस बात को पूरी तरह मान लेता है ऐसा नहीं है उसमें एक जिज्ञासा भी रहती है अपने सवाल भी उठाता है उस सवालों का समाधान भी चाहता है मुझे लगता है कि ये इस प्रकार से 
इस पद्धति से अगर हम थोड़ा आगे बढ़ते हैं तो ये और ये कहे बगैर कि वो उसका फायदा हो रहा है नुकसान हो रहा है हम उसको डाइवर्ट करें उसके अटेंशन डाइवर्ट करें और उसको थोड़ा लॉजिकल तरीके से प्रेजेंट करें तो मुझे लगता है कि ये एक तरीका हो सकता है जिससे हम इसको सोशल मीडिया को और उपयोगी बना सकते मेरा ऐसा कहना है कि सोशल मीडिया और उपयोगी बने तो उन एरिया से उसका दिमाग ध्यान हटेगा और जो नए एरिया जा रहे हैं उनके थ्रू जाएगा एक नई लकीर हम खींचे बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू सर फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग सच अ पॉजिटिव अप्रोच ओके थैंक यू श्रेया आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर सम ऑफ माई व्यूज इन सो फार सोशल मीडिया इज कंसर्न नो डाउट सोशल मीडिया यू नो इज ए वेरी पावरफुल इफेक्टिव मीडियम ऑफ यू नो रीचिंग आउट टू द पीपल मेट बी इंडिविजुअल मे बी ग्रुप्स फ्रॉम बिजनेस हाउस टू पोलिटिकल पार्टीज दे ऑल यूज सोशल मीडिया to reach out to you know wider section of you know people uh, sitting pretty quite at home the social media no doubt you know it extends a lot of activities and uh, it has uh, housed so many devices from the market like camera is housed radio is housed your watch is housed and uh, even a torch light is housed so when you put everything in one social media how how do you go for a social media through a you know mobile or a you know a laptop or a desktop so now the younger generation is very much you know uh in touch with uh, the social media uh, maybe through their mobile or maybe by their you know laptop uh no doubt it has got a positive uh, you know uh, uh, you know consequences but uh, some of uh, the parents they complain that the social media has spoiled the you know young brats and they used to search you know such google or you know instagram or facebook which are not good for them and they are mentally getting sick and their mental health is disturbed so i answer to these parents that it is uh, uh, the effect of you know good company or bad company if you are a good company social media is good and you can reach out to many more you know Uh, frontiers of knowledge but uh, if you are in a bad circle then naturally it is uh, the uh, juvenile delinquency or whatever and they go in a wrong direction so it has got both merits and demerits now in so far as the mental health is concerned now let us see if you are been you know, going through social media sitting uh, you know pretty uh, at your home uh, the physical you know contact or you know meeting the person in person is uh, you know uh, it, it is not there so it is a social media but uh, it is so that you are socially totally cut off you are not meeting a friend you are not meeting a neighbor you are not meeting people and you, if you are you know getting something uh, through online then you are very you know relation with a shop or the shopkeeper or or in between from your home to shop you happen to meet so many people so how come we are calling it a social media when your social relation is estranged that is really something you know uh, uh, startling and uh, whenever i used to you know think over a social media that uh, uh, students uh, the younger generation is very much you know accustomed with this uh, social media and uh, some are you know uh, many people are got you know wandered in the wild forest of social media but it is good and if you want to acquire knowledge if you want to reach out to uh, you know, the, the various frontiers of knowledge this is good but it it depends how your parents are you know uh, giving you the device and counseling that how to use it and how you are creating a group for yourself That, that 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 matters a lot so i think uh, the mental health of uh, a person who is using social media he should use it properly he should uh, uh, not go into the negative side of uh, social media rather the all the positive aspects should be there there and it should be in a very good circle and he should use it for acquiring knowledge and not for you know uh, you know all of entertainment purpose then only it will be 
of some use. That is my opinion. I think uh, Nidhi will also uh, focus on this uh, uh, very you know social media and uh, its relationship with mental health. Uh, but uh, you know the, the uh, feedback came that uh, the social media or the use social media it has created a lot of you know uh, uh, mental distresses and uh, that is what the parents say sir the, 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 this boy is always you know busy with that and uh, that uh, touch panel he's busy with the touch panel but he's not in touch with anybody uh, even not with their parents so it's a matter of grave concern i think nidhi would focus on uh, this very aspect thank you, you sir delve to the depth moving on to our next question that jo aapne kaha that uh, people are losing actually touch with their near dear ones they are just uh, in touch with the screen so how we can't deny the usage of social media in today's world and we can't deny its ill effects also so how can we strive to maintain a balance between our personal time our own responsibilities and the usage of social media because ultimately a balance has to be created well sure and the problem is that the social media is being dominated by market otherwise as such social media is not good it's a, uh, it's good uh, uh, creation but market is controlling social media and market caters to the demand and not to the need it is not need based market whatever is demanded market caters to that whereas we must be need based whether the individual whether society needs that thing or not that is very important so every individual should try to understand that how much they need okay if even if you eat lot of food if you uh, fill your uh, you know stomach with too much of food that is harmful so the problem is that social media is not dependent upon what is needed by the society whether it is entertainment or anything so we have to filter that it is all always motivated most of the things are motivated you know all uh, there is something hidden okay in this they they want to you know manipulate uh, the demand is something which can be created you know as as the marketing says that marketing is converting latent demand into effective demand okay so such manipulation is mind boggling for every youth that what to accept and what to reject so that is why there is a need always to have such conversation and as uh, professor gautam very rightly pointed out that we need to explore you know we need to research do do some research that you know technology has grown at exponential rate but on the other hand you know social sciences the humanity has not grown with the same rate okay so that's why we there is a need especially after covid uh, people have realized that there is a need Uh, to 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 study our nature uh, go near to our nature okay which looks after all the aspects of a human being so that is the point that i wanted to say that i mean we 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 need to uh, 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 you know be very cautious while using uh, social media whether they have pure intentions or there is a malefactor they want to dictate my behavior you know that is we we must consider social media as a tool which we have developed for our betterment but now it is what social media is doing they are changing your behavior your lifestyle your thinking that is dangerous that is dangerous okay you should guide social media social media should not guide you so i mean as the individual interest is being suffered when you are talking about 
सोशल मीडिया श्रेया मैं थोड़ा समझता हूँ यहाँ पे इंटरव्यू करता हूँ एक तो प्रोफेसर टिक्के मिश्रा ने जो कहा कि मार्केट जो है वो लोगों की नीड के हिसाब से नहीं डिमांड के हिसाब से कर रहा है ये सच है दूसरा ये मार्केट वाले सोशल मीडिया को कंट्रोल कर रहे हैं ये चाहते हैं कि सोशल मीडिया मार्केट को कंट्रोल करे मैं जब ग्रेजुएशन में था मैं किताब पढ़ी थी फ्यूचर शॉक बाय अल्विन टॉफलर ही वाज ऑफ द ओपिनियन दैट द पेस ऑफ चेंज विल बी सो रैपिड सो फास्ट दैट ह्यूमन माइंड कैन नॉट कीप पेस विद दैट हमने सोचा ये क्या कहना चाहते हैं लेकिन आज की डेट में वो चीज़ तो प्रैक्टिकली देख हाँ, आज की डेट में वो ये सच साबित हुआ ऐसे हमारा टेक्नोलॉजी एडवांस कर रहा है हर दो तीन महीने में एक, एक नए पेज में आता है तो ह्यूमन माइंड उसके साथ कोपअप नहीं कर पा रहा है और शायद यही कारण है आपका मेंटल हेल्थ डिस्टर्ब हो रहा है एंड अल्विन टपलोज वेरी मच राइट दूसरी बात प्रोफेसर बी एस गौतम ने एक बात कही एक सोशल रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी की बात कही है लेकिन सोशल मीडिया है इसका एक गुड साइड है लेकिन उसमें पेरेंट्स का भी रोल है टीचर्स का भी रोल है और वेरियस कम्युनिटी लीडर्स का भी रोल है एक मीडिया है यू आर रिचिंग आउट ऑफ पीपल कभी गलत भी देते हैं लोग अच्छा इसमें एक एक आ गया है एक एक लॉबी जो अपनी बात को थोपना चाहते हैं तो हमारे जो यंग जनरेशन है वो इसको मान लेते हैं कि यही है लेकिन हमने कई बार वेरीफाई किया कि ये सही नहीं है उसको अगर क्रॉस वेरीफाई करो वो गलत निकलता है तो इसलिए पेरेंट्स का जिम्मेदारी बनता है कि आपके जो बच्चा है उसका सोशल सर्कल कैसा है ये ध्यान रखें और हम जो टीचर हैं हम जो स्टूडेंट्स के साथ इंटरेक्ट करते हैं हम ऑनलाइन करते हैं हम देखते हैं ऑनलाइन इतना इफेक्टिव नहीं है क्यों क्यों क्योंकि जो होता है फेस टू फेस कि हम बच्चे की हरकत से देखते हैं कि समझा नहीं समझा कौन से बच्चे समझ गए कौन से नहीं समझे वो हम जैसे टेलीफोन में कॉन्वर्सेशन कहते हैं इज नॉट गुड बिकॉज यू डोंट सी द रिएक्शन ऑफ अ पर्सन एंड इफ यू आर टॉकिंग समथिंग एंड ही इज नॉट एट द रिसीविंग एंड यानी कि इसका स्टेट ऑफ माइंड कैसे आपको पता नहीं है इसीलिए हमेशा कहते हैं कि फेस टू फेस कॉन्वर्सेशन और फेस टू फेस टीचिंग जो है दैट इज मच बेटर देन ऑनलाइन तो सोशल रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी पेरेंट्स की है और टीचर्स की भी है टीचर्स बच्चों को बोले भाई कैसे अगर ऑनलाइन पढ़ते हो या तुम कोई सोशल मीडिया में जाते हो क्योंकि सभी है ऑलमोस्ट ऑल मैंने देखा कि हमारे जो बच्चे गरीब हैं उनके जब पैसा नहीं है वैसे सर हमें लैपटॉप दिलवा दीजिए हमने देखा भाई बच्चा कुछ नॉलेज गेन करना चाहता है तो हमने कोशिश की जितना हो सके हम बच्चों को लैपटॉप दिया लेकिन लैपटॉप देने के साथ साथ हमने ये भी बताया कि भाई इसका सही इस्तेमाल करो और तुम्हारे कैरियर के परस्पेक्टिव से इट इज़ ए इफेक्टिव मीडियम यू कैन यू रीच आउट टू नॉलेज एंड हमारा कर्तव्य बनता है टीचरों का कि बच्चों को प्रॉपर काउंसलिंग करके सोशल मीडिया से जो मैक्सिमम फायदा उठाया जाना चाहिए वही है सो आई थिंक प्रोफेसर बी एस गौतम एंड प्रोफेसर टिक्के मिश्रा हैज राइटली पॉइंटेड दिस वन एंड उस पर हमें बोलना भी चाहिए अमल भी करना चाहिए थैंक यू थैंक यू सर नाम प्लीज so after some great great insights by the three panelists there is um, nothing left for me to say but um, uh, i would just like to say that uh, according to me social media is both a boon and a bane and individuals need to understand uh, how good or bad it is for oneself and uh, uh, as an individual uh, i i i believe that uh, like according to me if i am given the chance that uh, you know you should create a priority list a to do list every day in order to uh, you know dedicate some time for yourself as well as for the other activities so every person has some duties like towards your parents towards your spouse towards your work towards your nation and apart from these duties there's also the biggest duty is for yourself so you need to take out some time for all of these activities and to also ensure that you are dedicating some time for the uh, for social media as well and you must not get uh, uh, carried away by what the uh, you know the by what the social media says every time the information uh, you know dispatched by them is not always correct you should get your facts right and act accordingly uh um uh, prioritization of uh, you know your activities has to be mandatorily done by the students you know uh, because students you know use social media 
uh, a lot when they are in the classrooms at the time of studying for the exam. So you need to prioritize and act accordingly. So this is what I have to say. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. Concludingly, we can say that the power of social media has turned our art of living into an act of performance. So it depends upon us whether we choose to perform in a good way or in a bad way. And ultimately, the self has to be empowered to such a level that we can make a proper decision and extract the best out of social media. Thank you all of you.